it's time for another video. As you can see today, we have a different setup. We are gonna do a tutorial. I have in the recent haul, some dolls that have the sticky leg syndrome and some dolls previously in other hauls pretty long time ago that still have that sticky leg. And I thought that I would grab a few of them and fix them today and do a tutorial for y'all. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna get on into it. First, I'm gonna tell you the supplies that I use. You don't have to use everything that I use, but this is just what works for me. So first I laid down, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see with, with me touching it. I laid down some cling wrap, some kitchen film, whatever you call it from wherever you're from. You're free to use a garbage bag, whatever have you. I just have a huge one of these from like Sam's Club that has like millions of feet on it. So I just grabbed a little piece of that to put down to protect my cute little towel here. So that's the first thing. Then you're gonna need some baby powder, any kind that you have from any store, any brand is fine. So baby powder first. You're also gonna need some baking soda. This is just the one that I have. You can get the store brands if they're cheaper. This, I just happened to get this on sale, so that's why it's the kind of more expensive one. And also my staple, what I love, not sponsored, but Ajax. Any kind, I just like this one because it has the bleach alternative and I like the smell and you got more bonus size, so that's why I got this one. You can see how much of it I've used already for you know dolly makeovers and all the stuff that I do, but I always use Ajax. Like I always say, this is what works for me you are free to use whatever you like. And for scrubbing, the handy dandy older used toothbrush. I always have an older toothbrush on hand that I use to scrub the dolls when I'm cleaning them. So this is basically all that I use. The only other thing might be like a towel or something, you know, little like that. So you should grab some type of every one of these things for your dollies if you're gonna do this tutorial and follow along with me. And then of course, you're gonna need your dolly candidates that have the sticky leg. Now I think she is the worst because whatever she was in the bag with has like this feathery deal going on that is stuck to her and also stained her legs. I'm gonna have to do this treatment, but I'm also gonna have to do a stain removal with the acne cream after I'm done with her. So there's this girl from the recent haul. And I also have this girl from an older haul. She has the sticky legs as well. And I also have this pretty lady that has the sticky legs. So she's gonna get fixed too. And then rounding out the quadruple set is this pretty lady. They all have the sticky legs. They're all gonna get fixed today so we're gonna get on into that very first step is de-dressing all of them so I'm gonna take all the clothes off of these cuties and then come back to you so here they are all undressed our candidates for today's tutorial where we are going to de-rid them of their sticky legs first in the process what I do is I take the powder and I coat the legs now I do it a little I don't open the holes completely as you can see I have them about half open and then you're gonna want to flip your dolly over and lightly coat the back as well so that's all I'm gonna do the first step and I'm gonna do it for all four of the dollies now here they are all coated front and back of the legs and down inside and on the sides I made sure to get all the surfaces with the baby powder now this process takes a minute but the results are good so you're gonna want to do it for your dollies if they have the sticky legs it will get rid of it now what I do from here is leave them overnight now I know that seems like a long time but the powder will soak up whatever that is that stickiness that's in the legs so when I come back to you it'll be the next day and they will have set overnight so see you then I wanted y'all to see up close see the reaction that it's having especially in her legs you can see it is wicking out whatever that is that makes the legs sticky on these girlies and they've only been sitting a few hours so I just wanted y'all to see that thought it might help y'all understand what's going on with the process so there they are they still have some more time to um, cook bake whatever you want to say marinate in their baby powder before they're ready for the next step hey y'all we are back and they have sat overnight. It's been 10 to 12 hours, I'd say. You're free to do it longer if your legs are more sticky or if you just wanna like not worry about them with time, or you can do it shorter. But for me, I usually do it around 10 to 12 hours, like an overnight kind of thing, so that they get a good long soak with the baby powder so it can wick away all that stickiness. So from this point, what I do next is of course, get the baby powder off of them. And what I do to make it not such a mess is take the toothbrush 
and just go like that because we've put our protective coating down here to get most of it off because you don't want this going down your drain when you wash them. So I do this to all the dolls, you know, front and back, just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna do it to her so you can see and then I'm gonna do it to the rest of them and then come back to you. Now you can see I've gotten most of the powder off of all four of the girls and I picked them up because I don't wanna put them back in the powdery mess that I made. So the reason I do this is so I can just take it, fold it up, it makes way less mess. And then since it clings to itself, you got it all trapped in there and you didn't make a mess on your cute little towel or whatever you use as your backdrop. And then you can just throw this away. Now, the next step is washing them. I have these left over from eating at restaurants and stuff when they give you your stuff like to go in. That's where I got this. You're free to use whatever you want. I just like to recycle as much as possible. So what I do is I take my Ajax and I pour some in, a good generous amount, about that much. And then I take my baking soda that I told you I use and I put it in with the soap. And I do a good amount, probably about like that. Then I take and I kind of make a paste with it with my, you know, toothbrush. The best way to clean them is always a toothbrush. When you're going to switch your toothbrush over to a new one, just take the old one and use it. That's what I do, you know, recycling, like I said. And it doesn't hurt anything. So then you have this paste, and this is what I'm going to use when I wash the legs. So that will also further get rid of that stickiness. So once I've done that, I'm going to come back to you and show you how they look. Okay, y'all, we're back, and I've washed all these beauties. Look at their legs. They look so much better, and they feel so much better. I don't feel any stickiness anymore even though they're still a little damp because I did just wash them. Now what I do with the little solution that I showed you I make and the toothbrush, I wash them and scrub them two times. Now I know that might seem repetitive. What I do is, is I scrub down the first girl, put her aside, let her set, and so on and so on. So I do this one, let it set, then I go on to this one, put it to the side, then this one, put it to the side, then this one last. Then when I rinse them, I start with this one. And then I do that process two times. And like I said, I know it might seem repetitive, but when you're letting the solution here and, and you let it set with the Ajax that has the grease cutters and then the baking soda, it helps to get away what might be left from the stickiness. So I always do it twice. I let them fully dry before I do anything else with them. So from this point, most of what you need to do is done. I am going to, of course, fix these beauties. I scrubbed them from head to toe. I didn't just do the legs. I did their full bodies and faces. So all they need is their hair done. So I'm gonna do that. And then when I end out the video, you'll get to see them all completely fixed with makeovers and all. So yay. All right, y'all. It's time for the reveal of my sticky leg girls. They're all fixed. Gave them makeover so we're just gonna get on into that now first girl is this girl and I love how she turned out I believe she was a Malibu Barbie but I'm not for certain so I put her in this little swimsuit that I got from subscriber mail I love it I love how it looks on her I did a lot of outfit switches I couldn't decide what I wanted but when I put this on her I just thought it looked right and I did her hair so nice so shiny turned out great and of course, the main thing in the video, no more sticky leg. The legs are perfect. They don't have any more stick, nothing like that. They are perfect. You can see the shine. My little tricks and tips. I hope you guys try it because it really does work. Gets rid of that icky old sticky leg. So here is the first girl all made over. Yay! Next makeover girl with no more sticky leg. Look at how nice the legs look. Like really and truly. And no more stick, I promise you. I know you don't have touch of vision, but here's how this girl turned out. I pulled this little front piece back, gave her that little side swept deal, and her hair turned out beautiful as well. Super shiny and nice. I gave her this cute little outfit. Again, this was an outfit that was gifted to me in a subscriber mail. So very sweet, and I just thought it looked super cute on her. Kind of 80s, even though she's more of a 70s girl, but I put these little black shoes on her. Didn't put any shoes on her because she's wearing a swimsuit, but I just think she looks so good now, and like I said, no more sticky legs so I'm super happy with how these have turned out. Next girl is this oh, beautiful lady. Oh I love her. Look at her face. Oh she turned out so well. Everything on her just turned out great. The makeover, her hair is exquisite. Now they all had bad hair from the beginning. It's hard to remember what they looked like so maybe I'll put the before pictures 
pictures in for y'all so you can see just how bad they were. I know it's not been that long, maybe like 10 minutes since you've seen them, but you know, it's hard to remember exactly how like awful they looked, like with their hair all lumpy and everything and the sticky leg, which is gone, which is no more. See how shiny and nice they look. No more sticky, I promise. Loving it. And again, another lovely 80s cute outfit. I tried multiple outfits on all these dolls because I'm super picky about how I want them to look. I know that's silly, but you know, we all do our own little dolly things that make us happy. So this outfit I thought looked the best on her. It might not be her forever outfit because I know she's a special one like Crystal something Barbie with this face and these earrings and the necklace there. But I just thought this was really super cute and I loved it on her for now. So she's gonna go on my collector shelf like this. Just so pretty, just, ugh, I can't, I can't. Now the last girl is my absolute favorite because I think she had the biggest transformation, but I just love these. And I'm so glad that I got to do this tutorial and share it with y'all because it is something that will save you because I used to think that when they had the sticky leg, there was nothing you could do. And then I started trying things and came up with this process and was able to fix the sticky leg problem. So I hope you try it. And I hope it's helpful to someone out there because it definitely works. So yay. And this ha, is my last girl and I'm so happy with her. She's so pretty. Look at her. And I love this dress on her. I really think it's cute. Like the straps don't do what I want them to. They're a little big. So I'm thinking I might sew them down shorter. I'm not sure, but just for videoing purposes, I thought she looked really pretty in this and her hair. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. It's exquisite. I'm definitely gonna put before pictures so you guys can see what a mess her hair was. Now I did flatten iron her hair. I washed it and did all the stuff that I normally do in my makeover videos that I've shown you, you know, multiple times, but I did flat iron it because it still had the bump. I like letting them air dry. And I like to see how well the hair turns out with just letting them air dry. And then if they have the bumps, then I'll flat iron it. I don't really love boil washing the hair. That's not a favorite thing of mine. I will do it if it's necessary, but I didn't think it was necessary with her because look at how beautiful this turned out and I didn't have to mess with boiling water and I got to watch TV while I did her hair so yay the main thing again is the legs I did the sticky leg tutorial I got everything off now this girl if you'll remember had um, blue stains now I'm not trying to like flash her no nose or whatever but I'm trying to show you all those blue stains are gone I had to do the acne treatment with the saran wrap clinging film whatever you want to say in the Sun to get that to go away but it did so not only did I fix her legs from the sticky I got those blue marks off which I'm super happy with and she's just super gorgeous I love this one's face so so beautiful there are my four beautiful girls all put back to right all made over no more sticky leg and I'm super happy with them and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this found it useful and if you've been with me through the whole video I have to say love and hugs and thank you so much for that because it is really special to have you guys come along these journeys with me especially when I do tutorials because I do that so that other collectors and other people that are wanting to fix up their dolls can because they don't know all the tricks that I know so it makes me super happy to get to share that with y'all. So there they are, all of our sticky leg girls with sticky leg no longer. We did it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I have to say thank you so much for being with me and for watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having a great, great, great dolly dolly day and that all the good best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say great big, huge, 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 love Lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful lovely subscribers I cannot say enough how awesome how wonderful all the great words you can think of that I think about y'all truly are so special and the best and I have to say thank you for every little thing you do the likes the comments the sharing watching the videos coming along the journey hitting that button and saying yes we want to subscribe to your dolly silliness and your crazy dolly world and see all the good fun dolly goodness you get up to so I have to say thank you so much for that y'all <laughs> you haven't subscribed yet I don't know what you're waiting for y'all come on join the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here that grows by the day because of y'all coming along the journey and saying we like your dolly silliness I think that everyone here is so special because we are all so different and I think that that is one of the greatest things about this little dolly thing that we do that we're all different and we all like different things and all have different paths but we share that one lovely love of dollies together so if you want to become part of our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here, come along and join us because we would love to have you.
And as always, absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through the tutorial. I know it took me a while, because I've told you guys it takes time when you're doing stuff like this to put it all together. But once I get it together, I'm always so happy and glad to share it with y'all. So I hope you found it useful. I hope you had a good time. And y'all know what I am gonna say. Happy dolling and bye y'all.